yesterday it was 66 percent uh, efficiency right and that is because like the number amount of tasks that i completed was same like four the day prior to that it was four out of seven but yesterday it was four out of just six i would say like it's the same efficiency i could have done this and this but i, I was trying to get back to sleep early so that i can wake early and improve my sleep schedule which again i failed to do that so at the end of the day i think if i would have completed these two instead of getting back to sleep early and forcing myself to sleep i would have completed this but it was not worth it so i pushed it to today uh, these two things discovery brainstorming sales discovery i think sales if i have to make this a million in 12 months i really need to be like i have to uncover all the problems that i face in sales i have to read the prospect like the way i know that if i pitch six people in any offer using cold calling i can get a get a meeting right the cold calling prospecting is more about disqualifying and sales is more about pre-qualifying right I think I would need to learn more about the sales discovery process. If I can build rapport and disarm the prospect from the beginning, from the get-go, then uh, you know half the task is done. And only thing that, I, that is remaining is like the way I question. So now for the next 20 sales calls, I'll be focusing on how to exactly start the call in such a way that that makes sense. And they are like, you know, they are they're opening up. And then uh, in the next 10, after that, like the 10, next 10 sales calls, I'll be focusing more on the discovery questions. If I can do it in the next 10 days, that will be perfect, right? And I think like if I can put like that as a, like instead of getting so many tasks, if I can give myself three to four tasks, because I see myself completing three tasks, four tasks completely, right? So I'll focus on two more days, like at least this week, let's say seven days in total with seven tasks, six to seven tasks. If I can get to seven, then I think it would be much more easier to continue with that. Uh, but I think like it is much more important to focus on the health side as well. The health tracker has to be the fitness trackers, so to say, right? So I, I walked about like 7.89, right? So almost like eight kilometers yesterday before midnight. And then uh, after midnight, I pushed it to four more kilometers, right? So I think I completed 10 kilometers yesterday, but today I already start with like my tracker already says it's 5.62 5 kilometers, six kilometers, sorry. So I need to complete four kilometers of walk today plus four kilometers extra so that I can cover up today and yesterday. And uh, it's going to be like 10 kilometers every day. So I'm getting back in the athletic side as well. So in the fitness and, and eating only boiled, like everything like steam or boil. Uh, no oils and no uh mostly it's, it's going to be a cleansing period like the next 30 days i'll be focusing on cleaning my body in terms of only eating food that is uh nutrient rich less in carbs and healthy right focus on health and only steam and boil which is going to take less time to cook and i can have one one i prepared one time and then i have it twice uh, and also like i have a goal to you know, in terms of fitness. So seven tasks plus the fitness side is going to be a bit challenging, right? Uh, so either I'm going to be lowering down the task volume and increase the intensity of the tasks, plus I will add the fitness tracker. I, I would like to do like, you know, start with small things apart from the walks, 20 push-ups, uh, you know, the basic stuff, right? 10, 20, 15, 12, here and there, just so that I can start the process. Uh, I used to do these things uh, four years back when I used to be a cricketer. Last four years, I haven't done nothing, right? And so I lost my health, my physique and everything. So I'm going to be getting back into that mindset because that will also remove brain fog and I can put more efficiency there. One thing I would like to mention is yesterday, something interesting happened that I felt that just in three days time, I was I was trained in terms of mental energy to you know track all these things and complete the task. And it was a bit draining. So now I have to see, was it draining because it was, it was a big jump and change from something that I'm doing? Or is it because... I'm doing something wrong here, right? Uh, but anyways, it is a progress. So as long as there is progress, it's already under control. So maybe like from today, right? From today, let me see from today, tomorrow's day. Let's see. From tomorrow, I'm going to be starting this. 10 kilometer walk was completed for the last three days consecutively. And that will be to increase my cardio health, plus getting my body back to track in terms of getting it prepared for the next challenges that's going to come the next month in terms of fitness. So I really don't care anything about like, the next 12 months, $1 million is not going to be difficult. I know that for a fact. It's going to be just about execution and team building. So I know team building and I have to just execute on the tasks that I give myself. If I can complete the task every day and I can give seven tasks, which will include 70% of team building and 30% of uh, improvement in the sales side, then acquisition is going to be taken care of and the service labor is going to be taken care of, right? So $1 million is not going to be a big challenge, like just 200 people, right? We have booked like 250, uh, almost like 200 meetings, 150 meetings in the pipeline, right? And 75 people showed up so far. Uh, I only took like 25 to 30 sales calls, only had closed like seven so far. And it's a bad sales cycle right now. I mean, first 24 shows up, uh, show ups, I closed six. Uh, but then like now I'm testing out a lot of stuff. So I'm not looking for closing. I'm looking for optimizing it even more.
So that is totally fine. I can, you know, uh, handle these low and not making any sales for the next 10, 20 sales calls. It's already fine. I need to find out what exactly is working and why exactly I was able to close them so that I can replicate that and increase the closing rate uh, up to like 25%, 30%, even 40%, especially with a trial offer, with a set of free trial offer, it should be 40%. If I can close 40%, then 100 sales calls, next 100 sales calls will be having about 40 clients. And from there, if we charge even $1,000 a month for those 40 clients, and then only 50% of those them converts uh, to, to paying clients, that's still like 20K a month. And then I'll be upselling them to four months uh, for 3000 or maybe like five months, six months for $4,000, right? So that way, if we can get like 20 people to pay $4,000, then uh, we'll be able to get to $80,000 in total revenue, right? So almost like 10%, almost like 8% of the goal achieved in just two months. So yeah, good day yesterday, a bit training. I was not feeling entirely motivated to do these things uh, at all times. There were times when I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just sit down for some time and just have uh, listen to this, listen to that. And also like there was three sales calls yesterday, only two two of them replied. One showed up and we rescheduled that. I did not have that call entirely because uh, we will be having that on next Friday. And the second woman, like the lady, she rescheduled to today. So I have the one of the calls from yesterday, today. So that's also one of the tasks, which is going to be auto-completed if they show up or not. So that is also one more thing. So I don't think it's as efficient as uh, I wanted to, it to be, but it is good. So I can see what I did for the last two days and move ahead forward. I mean, the world is not going to be over, right? In 12 months, if the world is existing and I'm alive, then I will be making 1 million in 12 months.